Well-trained soldiers get the opportunities to fine-tune their skills while behind the chaotic front lines of conflict. To support medical readiness, William Beaumont Army Medical Center applied some of that frontline chaos to vital training when they held an individual critical task list simulations validation event at the Medical Simulations Training Center on West Fort Bliss, March 10th through the 12th. Based upon varying parameters, all soldiers have individual critical tasks assigned to their areas of concentration that they must complete throughout their careers. Medical troops worked on frontline trauma care, such as inserting chest tubes, traumatic brain injury management, and practicing massive transfusion protocol. Beaumont Education and Training NCOIC, Sergeant First Class Christian Rohde, who is also the NCOIC of the ICTL, said the training event had evolved from their first one last summer and will continue to improve as troops and civilians offer feedback on their effectiveness. We did a pilot last August that kind of told us how we should uh, conduct this event. And based on the feedback we got from the participants there, we changed a few things and now we're, we're setting in, into motion a training program that will allow us to validate uh, ICTL training quarterly. Beaumont Simulation Operations Specialist Thomas Soto said while the ICTL evaluation may be a training division production, it is a Beaumont Hospital team effort. Uh, this is a collaboration of uh, surgeons, uh, other medical providers inter from internal medicine department, uh, orth orthopedics. Uh, this is a essentially a, a group event uh, that uses simulation to address educational requirements that are set forth by the Army. Beaumont plans to offer ICTLs quarterly with a projection of 400 soldiers and civilians trained per year. Reporting from Fort Bliss, Texas, I'm David Poe.